everyone, what is going on guys? My name is JFans and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we have the free-to-play guide for the new global exclusive hit token event. Global exclusive for now, I guess. Um, so this is the team that we're rocking. We're pretty much rocking a int team and that's because the final stage of hit is going to be tech. So obviously you want type advantage over there. Uh, there is a lot of different types on this stage, but I went through the stage and it's not that difficult. As long as you bring a LR Vegito friend, which is what we are bringing, 90% is what this one has in the dupe system. Uh, then we have Devorah as the leader for 70%. We have the Captain Ginyu uh, for some damage. We have this Freezer, although you cannot stun after the second phase or even seal. He's just good because he reduces damage by 30%, which is the main reason why I brought him along. Uh, then we have the Future Trunks. He's good linking partner with the LR Vegito for the Fierce Battle, Prepared for Battle. Uh, just makes it easier for the 18 key super to happen. Then we have the Kid Gohan for the 20% attack up for all allies, as well as the damage reduction, same as Freezer. And then we have the Great Saiyan. He's just there for damage. You can definitely swap him out for anyone if you don't have him. A pay to play attacking unit or whatever uh, you think suits this team. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. It's not a very difficult event. I thought it was going to be a difficult just because he put you into so many restrictions that like you cannot stun, you cannot seal, you cannot evade attacks, and then you also get locked into place. But uh, with some criticals, you can uh, do some massive damage to him. So we actually got our rotations pretty much set. I want to have Captain Ginyu and Freezer together. And then I want the Ella Vegito and then the... Uh, future trunks together i did bring sensu beans just because if we do get locked into a place where the rotation doesn't suit us too well uh we can definitely change it around uh this int here is not too difficult at all he won't be doing too much damage unless he super attacks us same old same old for any dark event first phase is never too difficult uh we were one key short off of a 18 key super but uh, yeah, 835,000. We are going to take a super attack. That is completely fine with me. Let's probably do, yeah, 40,000. Very minuscule HP. If you can transform with Ella Vegeta, you are going to destroy this event. When I tested this team out, I got the transformation during the final phase. And I was doing, like, a, a near a million per counter. Okay, so... We will go with Captain Ginyu. Make sure he gathers his attack up. I'm, um... So that he can do more damage in the future. And the other units obviously are going to be in the floater spot. And we're going to be taking out Hito right here. With a nice critical. And now this is the AGL one. Indeed it is. Alright. You can make Vegito counter all the uh, front. All the middle attacks there. And this will get us an 18 key super. Perfect. And everybody can get a super actually. Okay, so now he's doing a little bit more damage, but if we just, um, I think one more turn and we can transform. I think. Alright, let's see. Can we get a crit? No, but 1.2 million, and we're tanking normal hits. Okay, so I am going to... I'm going to just um, use a Icarus here. I uh, don't really need a heal. It's not really necessary. Freeze is going to tank everything. Plus he has the 30% damage reduction. Uh, when I did, did my first attempt on this, I only used like two items. So I'm trying to recreate that. If we can take out hit here, we can start off the next phase pretty solid. But uh, Captain Ginyu needs to get a crit and an additional super attack to make that happen. Nah. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so when Vegito comes around again, we should be able to get the transformation. And I don't even think a super attack will take us out here. You actually don't even need a Doka mode. That's how quick we do this event. And of course, we still had Icarus up. Easy. Now onto the Strength Hit. Uh, strength Hit, you might have to use an item for sure. Uh, he can stun you, I believe, on this phase. I'm not too sure. I think maybe all of them can stun you. Um, so I'm just going to use a Princess Snake anyway. 
I know we won't get the transformation if we don't get hit too hard, but... Uh, we can get the transformation at any other point. Maybe the turn after. Alright. So, we're building up the Ginyu's attack slowly. 184,000. He's okay with tanking. He has a decent passive. Increasing his defense. And I guess Gohan's going to be tanking all of that at the end. Uh, I'm going to do this first. Do that. And we'll go like that. Alright. One point four million attack stat. Can we get a crit? Nope. Six hundred eighty-six thousand. Six hundred eighty-six thousand. Hey, trunks with the crits, but he's gonna take a super attack, which kind of sucks. How much would this do? Hundred thousand. Hundred thirty-nine thousand. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> we almost died there. I'm um, definitely gonna go, Sasha. Next turn we'll have. The transformation. And uh, we're definitely going to no item the um, final phase because we have that type advantage consistently. Save all those rainbow orbs and uh, we should be able to beat the... We should be able to beat this phase in the next turn. All right, there comes the transformation. We get the full heal as well. And we'll be able to counter three attacks at the start. Also get an 18 key super. We're closing in on the Doka mode. I don't really want to get the Doka mode because you don't really need it. 567,000. The counters were enough. Okay, so final phase now. The easiest part, actually. And then here comes the song. Alright, we got two damage reduction units. We're so... We're in a good position right now. Save those purple orbs for the LRs. And I reckon LR Vegito will be able to take out here in one turn. Alright, additional super. Any damage is good damage. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Did you or are you going to be summoning for the hits banner? I heard very, very bad news for the hit banner. People saying it's the worst Christmas banner ever to be released on Dokkan. Oh, this is actually the first time I'm seeing his super attack animation. Yo, that's pretty sick. Whenever these get leaked, I never really watch them because they never really interest me. Um, but that was that was pretty cool. Alright, so. We'll do that. Everybody gets a super attack. And we'll get the three counters at the end to guarantee the win because we get the 18 key super. And we're not going to be getting the Doka mode as well. So that's good. But we have, what? Uh, seven bars to go. Make that six. 2.4 million attacks that. And yeah, as you can see, the ca <laughs> that super attack did a lot of damage there. And one counter critical. 1.29 mil million. So that was the free-to-play guide. Nothing too special, guys. You can definitely get the Devorah pretty easily. You can get the Ginyu pretty easily. Uh, some of the units are story event exclusive, so if you don't have them and they're not out right now, you might have to wait, but there's so many other options. And of course, if you don't have them, you can bring your own uh, summonable int units to bring along. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Road to 20k, we're almost there. Uh, but as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fizzy, peace out.